I can already smell something, but it's not anything bad. Oh, okay, that is bad. <laughs> hey, what's going on, you tubulous? EXO coming at you here, hanging out with our special friend of a subwoofer. I've been sitting on this sub for like a year and a half wanting to do an EXO style review on it, but by the way the last review went with this company, I kind of just cut my ties and didn't want to go down that road again. Here we are all this time later with a good old Rockville Destroyer. You can tell things look a little bit different than what they're supposed to look like. So let's discuss some of the experiences that I had, replace this dust cap with an even bigger one to hopefully cool down the voice coil that much more. And by the end of this video, we're gonna be shipping out this sofa as a $300 bonus reward just for being a part of the EXO Patreon page. So let's go ahead and get down and dirty and see what the verdict is once and for all. Let's start off with something good, and that is definitely Excursion. She is a heck of a good jumper. The damn thing moves like three inches peak to peak without bottoming out, so that's pretty sweet. But it didn't always sound the best when it was stretched out that far. Something about those lower notes sounded a little bit befuddled with this driver. Anything below 40 hertz kind of lost a little bit of control and sounded a tad bit muddy. Another thing I liked was its maximum SPL, likely due to its stiffer spiders and dual 1 ohm coils instead of dual 2 ohm coils. Our maximum SPL score increased by half a decibel compared to our EMF low baller 12. Now, is that worth spending a hundred bucks more for and having an even heavier sub in the trunk? Who knows? Maybe this thing could have gotten even louder if we had a designated custom box for its volume. Third thing I welcome with open arms are the exaggerated push terminals. Look at these beefy mumba jumbas. Even if it is overkill power wise, it makes it so much easier when fitting in multiple runs of speaker wire for multiple subs. So for all those people who go big with small subs, just imagine how much easier life would be if even the small guys came with big terminals like these. Fourth thing I enjoyed seeing were the beefed up tinsel leads and new high temperature voice coil. Let's face it, those K9 coils from last time were a nightmare, thermally speaking. So it's really nice to see Rockville stepping up their game for the Destroyer series with a brand new set of coils. Awesome going. But with all this good stuff, of course, there's bound to be some bad stuff. For starters, my personal gripe was the lack of strength on the dust cap. When I first got it, it stuck out like a sore thumb, well, because it's paper, and I accidentally bent the thing in just from testing its own stiffness, creasing the outside of it permanently, well, because it's paper. So I wasn't the biggest fan of that and ended up just ripping the entire thing off completely. But when I did that, I noticed one more slightly bothersome thing hidden underneath a damaged center pole with several dings and chips taken out of it. Call me picky, but that doesn't look terribly uniform. And I know tons of people would get upset at something like that because voice coils have some pretty tight tolerances and anything that could affect that in a negative way definitely isn't something that you want to be spending 300 bucks for, at least in my opinion. But who knows, there may be a deeper story to it that we can get explained here in the comments. Have you guys ever seen anything like that underneath the skirt? Look. Another detail that would have been nice to see in the $300 category is some glue added on the tops of the bolts holding the frame to the motor. Vibration is a very powerful force, so those little lock washers that are on there right now may not do 100% of the job 100% of the time. The last thing I really didn't like about the Destroyer was its lack of low-end bass performance like we mentioned before. Blame it on the box, the port, a combination of everything in between. It just couldn't compare to the low baller below 40 hertz. Of course, yes, above 40 hertz, it was louder by half a dB, but it also took more power to do so and weighed like 20 pounds heavier. So at the end of the day, the low baller 12 is going right back in the trunk and the Rockville Destroyer 12 is being handed down to one lucky winner 
over at the EXO Patreon page. So what do you say, let's have one more sporting good time with this bad boy and see if we can reduce the voice coil temperature by putting on a jumbo full body cap instead of no cap. We'll shine in a laser temperature meter right into the side and do a before and after test and see just how much a dust cap affects temperature with your sub. It should be pretty interesting. So here we are up in the lab. Let's give you guys a quick breakdown of what we're working with here. We have this SMD AMM1. This will measure the wattage going to our sub from our amp, which our amp is right here. And our cell phones are right on top. We have a frequency tone generator playing at 57.7 Hertz. That way we'll at least be able to see some sort of excursion so the frame rate doesn't match the frequency of our sub. We're just gonna give it anywhere between five to 700 watts. Let's turn on our amplifier and get this show on the road. Cranking on, 57.7 Hertz. And turn the cell phone like this so we're ready to rock. We'll wait until we register some sort of power on the meter. There we go, she's reading. We're at one ohm right now. So after rise, we're still at one ohm. This is a dual one ohm sub, so we're at half ohm with no frequency playing, but we're at one ohm with the frequency playing. So let's go ahead and turn it up until we see a good level there. And then I'm gonna put the cell phone down and just push play. Here we go. seen that happen before so the meter just totally turned off so we'll go back up to that same same level around 600 watts resume the video and just keep keep measuring that's so strange so we've gained uh, only two degrees so far oh look at that nope we're gaining that's nice I can already smell something but it's not anything bad it's just the good old smell oh okay nope that is bad Let's go ahead and turn that down. Stop that, stop, stop, stop. Okay, I didn't expect that at 500 watts, but there is no real cooling taking place. You can't really fault it. Holy crap, I really didn't expect it to get that hot. I thought I saw 200 degrees at once, one point, I think we did. But yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, look at that, 215 degrees. Let's go ahead and see if we can replace this bad boy with some better cooling. And while I go get my supplies, I'm gonna do some free air at 27 Hertz just to cool this down. See that? It's cooling itself off. All right, we're back again with a fresh new dust cap and we're gonna resume the test waste no time and just go ahead and bring it right back up to the same wattage we were at before and see if this big dust cap makes a difference. Here we go. Right there, a little, actually that's more power than we were at before. But I'll, I'll go ahead and leave it. be a more a more brutal test looks like she's doing okay I can feel even way more air pumping out of these vents I can actually physically feel it with my hand oh I'm seeing some heat once we get up to 200 I'm gonna kill it though Looks like it may hover right around that. Okay, we're at 200. I'm gonna get to 215 actually. Not bad. Still not, I don't see 215 yet. Looks like it's cooling off. Oh, 210. We're definitely outlasting. 215 right there. So let's go ahead and bring her down. 
right there. So we reached 215 degrees. Oh crap, I forgot to push my start button. But look at that, and now she's going right back down into 180, oh yeah, so it's still, it's still soaking up pretty much a good amount of heat, but we lasted a lot longer than before, so that's not too bad. The dust cap is a little bit hot, but not that bad. The most of it's just right underneath that. But it's interesting to note, all of the air that was coming out wasn't like that before. This dust cap was serving its purpose. Bring down that to 27 hertz like we did right at the end of the last test and cool her down even more. Yeah, that's a nice stroke there. Let's see what happens. 93, 84, 100. Yeah, see, so that's not too bad, guys. Dust caps make a huge difference. Check that out. And frequency makes a huge difference, too. So I'm gonna hold this like this for quite a bit and just cool her off. Look at the, we are moving quite a bit up top. The dust cap's at 95 degrees. We're moving a crap ton up there, holy. And the coil is at 140, 150. So we're cooling down, 145. Man, that's blowing out some serious air. I love it. Nice, dust cap is making a nice difference. Down to 120, 100. Nice. So let's wait until it gets down to a nice stable 100 until we don't see it popping up much more. We're at 2.5 ohms. I'd be surprised if it was building much heat. I don't smell anything really dangerous going on. Show you guys the perspective there. That is a lot of movement, a lot of movement. Sorry about my exposure. I got the lighting up top. It's kind of messing with things a little bit. 280 watts, free air. And we're at, oh, it looks like we're hovering around the 100 degree mark now. Nice. See, right around 100 degrees. Let's go ahead and bring her down. So just from free airing at 27 hertz from 57 hertz, we were able to decrease our temperature by freaking 100 degrees. I'm just trying to drill home the point that a cap, a dust cap, really helps. Woo! A thousand watts at 26 hertz. Oh my gosh. Look at that. See what I was talking about? She has got some stroke on her. Cool her down one last time. Oh man, I love this thing. <laughs> All right, we'll give it a nice cool off sesh at 300-ish watts at 26 hertz. And we'll even go up and down a little bit, have some fun, huh? Let's go up and down. 29. Let's dig deep down to 25. Oh yeah. It sounds way better free air than it did in my car at those frequencies, I'll tell you that. handles her own the cooling is not so bad this video was just to kind of drill home the fact that a, a dust cap really does make a difference with cooling your sub you guys saw the before and after, 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 after. so until the next video this is EXO officially signing out with the Rockville subwoofer. We are giving this away over on our Patreon page. So if you would like to join that page, a link will be down in the description. We post up some, oh, got the little thing going off here. We post up some random stuff behind the scenes and we're gonna be doing even more stuff over there coming up. But if you wanna get on this, make sure you check out that page. This is EXO signing out.